Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at solving radical equations. Now radical in this case just means an equation that is involving some sort of root. Oftentimes we're gonna look at equations involving square roots. So in order to solve a radical equation, we're gonna follow a couple of general steps. So the first step is going to be to isolate the radical. The second step is going to be to square both sides. Now, when we square both sides, we are inviting some extraneous solutions to come into play. So let's look at why that is the case. Over here, if I think about taking an equation like, let's say four equals four, I know that that is a true statement, and if I square both sides, because I'm doing the same thing to both sides, I expect that I still have a true statement, and that is true. But let's take a non-true statement, like negative four equals four. We know that that's not true. Negative four does not equal four. However, if we square both sides, now we have positive 16 equals 16, which is a true statement. So when we square both sides of an equal sign, we don't know if it was a true equation or not to begin with, so we don't know which of these two scenarios we're working in. So what that is gonna mean is after step three, which is going to be to solve for x, step four, which is gonna be super important, is going to be check your answers. Okay, so because we're squaring both sides, we can get possible wrong answers, so we need to check our answers. All right, let's start with a basic one. Square root of x equals 4. So running through our steps, isolate the square root or the radical. That's already done for us, so we'll move to the next step, which is square both sides. So squaring both sides the square and the square root cancel out to leave me with just x equals four squared is 16. So our potential solution here is x equals 16. But before we box it up and say we're finished, we need to check. The way to check is to plug it back in and make sure it doesn't give you any wrong equations. So. Taking the square root of 16, we can take the square root of a positive number, and we know that the square root of 16 is in fact four. So four equals four is a true statement, which means this is a good solution. Okay, so let's see that with a bit more complex one. All right, here's our next one. Square root of two x minus four equals two. So once again, here, the square root is already isolated, so step one is done for us. Moving right along, we wanna clear out the radical, so we're gonna square both sides. Square and square root cancel each other out, so I get two x minus four is equal to two squared gives me four. Now I just go about solving for x in the normal way that I would. So I'll add four to both sides to get two x equals eight. Dividing both sides by two, I get x equals four as a potential solution. Because we squared both sides, it's important that we check our answers, so let's do that. We wanna know, is the square root of two times four minus four equal to two. We wanna know, does that make a true statement? So two times four gives me eight. Eight minus four is four. And finally, the square root of four is in fact two. So we do get a true statement of two equals two, which makes x equals four a good solution. Okay guys, that does it for this intro video. We'll catch you in the next one.